Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So I know I said I wouldn't be doing another sheen, but I was given some money from family members, including my husband, and I grabbed some more things. Now this is the last of the sheen, I swear. I've not ordered anymore. I've not been on there for a couple of weeks. Now these are three orders rolled into one, guys. They're three small orders, but I've rolled them all together so we can just get it done in one video. So let's get stuck in. I'm gonna start off with accessories. I'm going to go with the first order, which I made probably about three weeks ago, guys, but I've had it here. So first things first, there's two of these guys. So came super fast as Norway's. I never have any issues with Sheen delivery at all. I've never had any issues. I don't know if anyone's had issues in the past with that kind of thing, but I personally, every order that I've had, have always arrived in super fast time and in, in one piece. So these are, talking of which, these are actually men's and they're school design rings, guys. I had two of the other ones that you've seen in videos or if you've not seen videos, I've worn them for TikTok. Now these are expandable and they're bigger and that's why I went for them because I thought I do like these and they do look quite nice. Now these are actually 2 49 guys. I bought two, I got them for 168 each and they, I, they expand so you can stretch them so they fit your finger. I do, ah, ow, that nipped me. <laughs> I do have big fingers, guys, to be honest with you. Oh, sausage dog fingers. So there's one. It looks like armor. That is quite um, substantially sharp, guys. So, you know, you could actually hurt somebody with, with that. Just saying. And then, obviously, or you can have them on other fingers and tighten them because, like I said, they expand. But I put them both on this finger but as you can see i think it looks quite effective i think it looks quite nice so yeah obviously if you're going to do that you're not going to see them much but you could put them one on that finger and one on that finger so yeah super cheap accessory just to go with the rest of my accessories because i like accessories <laughs> so that was that moving on to another accessory guys was this one i just got this because i just like the look of it um, I know that the jewellery isn't brilliant from Sheen and oh, most of it will be jewellery that may tarnish. Some of it is stainless steel. This is stainless steel. Some of it may tarnish over time or irritate you. Yeah, but I probably won't wear a lot of this jewellery for long periods of time anyway. Now this one is, again it says men's hollow pendant necklace it was 149 and i paid one pound one penny i don't know why they put the one penny on there but it's just this what i call the bath plug <laughs> um ball chain kind of thing and it just hooks into this and down i might actually put this on now guys and then there's this 3d wolf on there um, like I said, I probably wouldn't wear this too long, but I am going to wear it because I do actually like it. I've just got to try and get the ball in the fiddly bit. In there. So it's my daughter's 18th birthday today. I am gutted that I can't be with her, but I've got too many hospital appointments coming up, so I've really got to be home for them appointments. I mean, I've only just had one last week. I'm having tests at the minute for various things and I've got hospital next week. I've got opticians next week. I've got the hospital in July. So, yeah. So there you go, guys. Now, with this comes a return. It says everything that was on that order and how to return it. And then, again, it shows you other things. I've never really had this one in before, but this gives you all the order number. I think it was attached to that. Right, moving on to accessories. I started laughing when I opened these because I didn't expect them to be this big. I've seen these and I thought, oh, they're cute. I've got lots of back necklaces and not a lot of back earrings. But God, I didn't realise they were going to be this big. It's actually like toy bats attached to an earring. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got these massive actual plastic bat earrings. I mean, they're cute at all. Look, I mean... Hey, it looks like something you'd, you'd have as Halloween decoration around your house. And they've just decided to stick a, a hoop in it and make them out of earrings. Uh, well done. But I'm not too sure what these will look like. I may look an absolute tit, but I like them all the same. They're cute. Now, these were 
67p this should have been 99p it just says back design drop earrings but i expected them to be like teeny weeny ones and they're big but i ain't gonna complain they're still all right they've got some plastic attached to it but i've just like pulled it off right moving on accessories again i don't know why i got this necklace guys i don't know what inspired me to buy this necklace but i, I think it's because it's swarovski crystal and i'm obsessed with swarovski crystal like probably why i bought so many necklaces from scarlet and chain because i just love swarovski now this one is not on my list why is this not on my list this was part of it although it is so crystal heart charm necklace it should have been 149 i paid one pound one p and it's just a simple chain i don't know if it's real silver or just fake imitation chain but i like the swarovski crystal it is swarovski crystal because it did state it and then it's got this really pretty design oh it says i love you forever oh that's cute oh if i knew it was saying that i would have given this to my daughter for her 18th birthday so it has this and then it has little hearts at the back with the stainless steel backing but it says i love you forever across the heart oh i think that's really cute that's really pretty i might order a couple of these near christmas time for the girls and get them a really nice jewelry box and put it in just like keepsake kind of things so that was that guys and then moving on i have two more accessories i just wanted to try these because i have never bought pins from um sheen um or aliexpress to be honest or anything like that. i don't i don't touch wish i don't actually like wish um even though it's china it's nothing to do with that i just don't like the quality of stuff from wish um aliexpress was all right but for me sheen's probably been the better out of the lot of them um although i will not be ordering anymore because i've got enough so this is a pin guys just to finish off the pins that i want to get on my jacket now this one is a letter engraved brooch and it says Beetlejuice and it's six to seven p should have been a pound i'm not too sure they've copied this design elsewhere but i've not seen it elsewhere but i just seen it and thought oh that's cute and it'll go nicely on my jacket got two pins at the back so i've got a jacket that i've patched up and pinned up and it's getting quite ridiculously heavy now um but i have worn it out twice but some of the patches are actually coming away from the jacket which really bums me out because i can't stitch patches on and i i haven't got a machine to stitch them on so i did attempt to glue but what happened was when i glued it it went everywhere and it went all over my jacket and it looks a goddamn mess i just need to find some remover to see if i can clean up my jacket because i can't exactly put it in the washing machine can i so i don't know what to do about that one but yeah these are a five brooch set five oh yeah so i've got five here the gold backing and they're just five bird decor brooches they should have been four pound i got them for 268 and they're just like the raven or the crow i've never seen these before i have seen some crow and raven ones but not like this they're like better detailed ones but yeah i just thought they were really inexpensive and pretty for what they were they've got the moon and star design on them if you can see that one and then there's just one with a feather there with a rose i just thought that was pretty as well so yeah they're smaller than i expected them to be so but what do you want so that's all i got um as far as accessories go guys let's move straight into clothing right so there was a couple of tops still on my wish list that i wanted to get off my wish list so i just grabbed them and it literally is a few tops guys nothing major so as you know on one of my hauls i got the moon and star um trousers and i got a black and white top to match it but it had nothing on that but i spotted this and i thought oh that's pretty they actually do the t-shirt as well guys so i may get the t-shirt eventually so i can wear the trackers with the t-shirt in the winter and keep this for the summer and uh, completely inexpensive as well this was should have been 6.99 i paid four pound i got an xl she's actually wearing them with black and white leggings i didn't see the leggings but 
Um, I probably prefer to wear these with the trackies rather than the leggings until I lose my weight. I have lost some weight guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I have lost nearly a stone in weight. I don't know if that's because I'm not eating very well, I have no appetite, or it's because I have got some kind of chronic illness going on that I don't know. Now I have tried this on so I've got a little bit of makeup on, but I will put it in the wash. So that was that guys. I am so inundated with sheen bags, it's unreal. Right, I'll save that for later on. Right, I've actually had this on one of my TikTok videos because I just liked it. Now, I've seen this same design so many different places. I don't think it says the same thing. I don't know what this says to be honest with you. But I've seen the design. I think I've seen it on Mary Wyatt, London. I think I've seen it on there. And I think I've seen it on Hannah Horrors. But I don't know if it's the same one. I think it's just it probably says something completely different or I wouldn't even know but this was a graphic print cami top XL it should have been £4.50 I paid £3.01 and it's just a basic short crop top now it is really short on me it literally just fits my boobs in them and they've got adjustable straps I do like the fact that they've got adjustable straps so you can make it higher up or lower down if it's too up and what does it say I have not a freaking clue what it says guys I wouldn't even like to try and attempt it but I just do like the print on it I would like one of Hannah Horror's tops like this like not a vest top but a full t-shirt and I would like the one from Mary Wyatt I, I am looking to buy there one day when not just yet because I've got enough clothes at the minute so that was that guys like I said just just ex clothes that I wanted to finish off for the summer now this one is a sun and moon print mesh top should have been $5.99 I paid $3.35 was it $5.99 or was it $6.99 yeah $5.99 um I do have a long version of this that I got from Boohoo which I absolutely love but I did notice a while after that I actually got a hole in it so it does need to be stitched at some point but it's too long it's more of something that you'd wear under a dress and I have worn it with a black dress plain black dress but I wanted a top version so I spotted this and I thought oh that's nice um, again I should the moon and stars would love this I always mention it because she loves anything moon and stars but a lot of people probably do like this so I could wear this with the black and white crop underneath it or just a plain black crop or just a black full cut bra would look nice. This guys was like I said 335 I've got an XL. Um, it's just a mesh top, it's nice, I like it. And it's not a full length one I don't think. I think it just cuts over the belly button but kind of cropped but not fully cropped. Right. So, did I remember I said in my last haul that I wanted an orange top to go under that that orange and blue um, checked plaid dress and I paired it with my Boohoo cold shoulder jumper which it looks really nice with but I thought I'm going to try an orange top under it because I think that would make the blue pop and I'm not really one for orange, I do have an orange jumper that I put some patches on last year which I absolutely love but I seen this and I thought oh it's very bright but I do like this whole print that they've got on here and it says rainbow on the high neck and then on the sleeves um, I can't make out what it says to be honest uh, if I could actually get the sleeve to open up like that I'd be able to tell um no i can't understand what that says <laughs> maybe someone will be able to understand what that says but i don't unless it tells you on the thing so it says here it is a no neon orange letter graphic t it should have been eight pound i paid 5.34 i got an xl but let me just open the sleeves that way now the print was slightly stuck together, just slightly, but it did have paper in between it, guys. The tissue paper, I have took it out because I have looked at these already. Because um, any I don't like, I'd have sent back. But I don't know what that says. Oh, multicolour. Multicolour, it says. Right, okay. So, it's not really long, but it's long enough. But I wanted this to go under that plaid um, dress. 
it's um, quite thin. I don't think it's too sheer. Um, and the print feels all right. Um, yeah, it, it was literally stuck together though, guys. I have actually pulled it, but with pulling it, it didn't rip any of the print. So the print's done quite, quite nicely. And yeah, rainbow on the neck. So I'll do a try on, guys. I will try it on with that plaid dress and anything else that I've bought to match something else. I will try with that. Right, so that was that, guys. So I'm completely different out of my style, but I thought, never mind. I've worn these, guys, in my TikTok video, and I've got to tell you, I absolutely love them. They're so bloody comfy, and I wish I bought more than one pair. Um, if Necessary Evil did some shorts, I would buy it from them if they did the shorts. Don't think they do, but okay, if you do, I'll buy them. Um, but these are just them crisscross short and then they've got this hook and eye design. It is literally just for design. Um, it is polyester, but it's quite stretchy and they were so comfy, guys. And I mean really comfy. I just wore it, like I said. Hook and eye crisscross cycling shorts. Should have been $9.49. I paid $6.35 and I got a large in these, guys. And they are pretty roomy to say I got a large. I'm glad I didn't get an XXL in them because I think they would have been too big. So, yeah, that was them. Thumbs up. Thank you for that. Right, so these are some leggings and they're called the, um, don't know because I can't read it, Cut and Played Leggings XL. Should have been $7.49. I paid £5.01. I don't think I've took these out of the packet yet. But they have the tissue paper and every bit of clothing that they send, but there's no print on these. So just some basic leggings, guys. As you know, I like to wear leggings. Um... They do look sheer, so I think you are going to see your knick knicks on one side rather than the other. You can't win with this one, guys. If you wear black knickers, you're going to see the black through the white. If you wear white knickers, you're going to see white through the black. So, hmm. But, like I said, they're just comfortable, cheap, inexpensive leggings. I bought leggings from Boohoo before, and to be honest with you, I'm not overly keen. They, they come up too short on the leg. These are long on the leg, and that's what I like about leggings. I just wish that Boohoo's leggings were like that, because I do own a lot of Boohoo leggings, and they're quite sheer. So there you go. That was them, guys. Like I said, I'll do a try on. Um, I don't know what this one is. Oh, this is another pair of leggings, guys. I've got a couple of pair of leggings. I like the look of these. Don't like the feel of them, though. Mwah! So these are that polyester scratchy... But the soft version, not the really scratchy ones. So they just have love band on them. These are letter graphic leggings. They were supposed to be seven pound. I paid four sixty eight. I've got an XL in these, and they are literally just like that cycle, like that material. But this one seems more like tighter, like it would pull you in. Um, I like the band on the leggings. They go in here and then straight at the the back. Um, yeah, just basic leggings but i'll have to get used to this material somehow but i think these will kind of pull you in and i'll, I'll probably like these on they're not my usual right last two in this haul uh two tops obviously these are the ones that i got i picked i got i think it was me i don't know i get confused guys right so I've been eyeing these two up for ages and I was like, do or I don't, and I thought, oh, do you know what, bugger it, I'll just go for it. So this is the plus letter and graphic print stripe sleeve combo tee. I paid £9.17, it should have been £18.99, I got a 1XL. Don't know why I got a 1XL, I would have been happy with just an XL, but I got a 1XL either way. But it looks massive, but I do like tops to hang nicely baggy on me. But yeah, I just like the whole, the white collar this moon and star design again and then just some built-in stripey i've seen people like wearing tees over tees and i thought oh like long sleeve stripey tops from killstar and then wearing a tee over the top and i kind of like that whole look so i bought one that was built in i do own a lot of stripey tops that could have done this but i've not really got a lot of this kind of style top but yeah um, lots of that loose thread all over it again. It does made in that loose thread. But what would I wear these with, guys? I don't know. Probably some really nice comfy leggings. Or maybe the moon and star. Or just some black gothic trousers would look nice with this. 
So yeah, that was that, guys. That was probably one of my more expensive ones. And then I seen this one just before I was ready to like ching ching buy. So this one is a plus contrast collar embroidery with tea. Um, $12.99 I paid $8.69 I do love rib tops I don't know what it is about them but I do love rib tops and this one's quite nice I did have a look and feel of it so yeah really pretty I like the whole moon embroidered in the collar long sleeve normal sleeves no inserts of thumbs and it looks quite sheer when I can see everything through it so it might be a little bit sheer but I'll probably just wear a nice black brow underneath this guys so that was that guys so that was that order um I got something free with that as well which I've given given away um my whole order came to 65 or one but I think I got money off that so it came to something cheaper right moving on to the next one now I did order loads and loads of things and then I cancelled the order because I changed my mind and then I went ahead and ordered these into the first thing that I have here yeah there's a thought I'm missing I'm actually missing some stuff from here I did wonder that okay unless it's inside this bag and they put it in this bag so it don't get lost so they put all my items inside a sealable bag yeah that's why okay because this right these look smaller than I thought right so moving on to this one I thought this one was absolutely beautiful and pretty and I thought for oh, great I'll go for it well we are Right, so this is a contrast lace detail velvet slip night dress. Should have been eleven forty nine. I paid six pound eighty and I got an XL. Comes in the bigger sheen bags. Sheen, not sheen. Sheen. My daughter did correct me yesterday and she was laughing at me. Everybody does say it differently, I will admit. So I just seen this and I thought, oh, you could wear this for winter time and summer. And it's just this long velvet night dress and i just thought oh i do like the night clothes it's quite comfortable this is lovely it's stretchy it's velvet and it's quite long and it has this lace detail to the hem which is really really pretty um lacy detail to the front as well that goes up and then lace so it's not adjustable lace straps yeah, it looks quite nice, nicely made. I've been, I always check it out around the stitching. And then it just has the sheen label here. So that was that, guys. Really nice. I like this. Um, if you want a nice romantic night in with your hubby or your fella or your woman. You need to dress up nice and sexy. There you go. So that was that one, guys. Right. Now, I did order some earrings. Upon ordering them, one pair looks absolutely minute, but you can't really tell sizes on such things as this. Now, I will update you guys. I did buy a nose ring from Sheen, if you remember, and as you can see, that nose ring is no longer in. My nose got septic, guys, like really bad. It started to like pus, it got big, it got sore, it was so sore. But because I closed it in and it wasn't on a latch, I could not get it out and it was painful. I had to literally get my pliers in my nose and hold the opening and then pull open to get it out. Immediately, my nose was painful. I cleaned my nose with salt water. I took the ring out and I've thrown the ring in the bin because there's no way in the world I can ever wear it. Um, and then I put a proper surgical thing. I do have an order coming for body jewelry, guys, nose and lip rings. That's coming from Sweden, so when that comes, we will do that another time. But I ordered some earrings because with earrings, I don't keep them in unless they are literally 925 silver or stainless steel. I've got a pair in from Jewelry Channel which may have been on before this comes on and I've got just a normal pair of purple stainless steel ones on. So I bought three pairs of earrings from Sheen, but I know that I probably wouldn't be able to wear them all night in my ears, just knowing what happened with my nose. But I thought I'd update you on that, guys. If you're gonna buy body jewelry from Sheen, I don't think it's worth 
buying, you know, like facial jewelry that you're going to keep in for a long period of time, Sheen's probably not the place to go. Right, so I bought, I don't know which earrings are which here because they all look the bloody same. This comes in a regular bag here. Um, these look very much like the nose ring <laughs> that I took out. Right, these ones are rhinestone deco hoop earrings. They're really tiny, but these are, you see these are mechanism as a class, which I wish the nose ones had been at that because it would have been easier to get out. And it's just got this rhinestone effect. It doesn't tell you if any of these are 19 silver. I don't know, but these should have been 150 and I paid 128. Just going off the price, it would tell you they're not. But they are very, very tiny. I'd probably, I'm getting my third hole done again because one's too close. So I'm going to get my third one done again and eventually I may put some little earrings in. So that was them, but I wouldn't lose them. And then I got another pair. These ones are rhinestone deco hoop earrings. I paid £2.49. Oh, they were £2.49. I paid £2.12. These ones slightly bigger. Oh, these are pretty. And they've got this like design of little rhinestones. And again, these open class. I do prefer earrings that do open up and close. These dropping ones for me, I lose them every time unless they've got a backing on them. So I've made a, a boo boo of with when wearing them earrings, but now I've bought some backs for them so I don't lose them. So yeah, they're pretty. I will try them on later on and see what I think. And then I got some rainbow ones. So rainstone, rhinestone decker hoop earrings was 149 i paid 129 or 127 and these are just some really pretty lilac and pinky ones i thought were really pretty but why is that one like that okay it's quite a thing so again that one looks a bit bent it looks slightly bent that one that's it i've moved it back into place so diamonds i've just got some pretty pink and lilac and champagne colour rhinestones and they just clip in like the others oh yeah so you know i got the night dress and i got the nightgown in the bat well they did have another night dress in it that i have two night dresses that i absolutely love but they're too low cut around here and i probably wouldn't be comfortable if anyone came around to the house in them just in case but i've seen the shorts and i went oh I love these guys and I got to tell you I absolutely love the jammers and the, the nighty that I got and the nightgown love them to bits now these are adjustable like the nighty which I love they wash super well guys I gotta tell you I really do recommend these so there's no holding in these but I do wear a support bra but I have got like a support bra bra that I'm wearing at the minute and it goes all right underneath I think I got an 1xl so that was them and then they come with shorts and then i got the plus all over back prints cami top and pajama top should have been 12.49 i paid 10.59 and there's the shorts which are pretty long now the other night that i got the moon and star one which i showed you at the beginning i love the material of that i know it's polyester but it's really soft i seen the other night that i wanted and i thought i'm gonna grab it this one is the Plus Galaxy Print Ruffle Hem Cami Night Dress. This is brand new in the store for a new design that had just come out. Should have been £13, I paid £8.50 and I got a 1XL as well. Because I like being a bit comfortable with nightwear. But how pretty is that? So it's got that hem like the other one does. You can actually wear this as a dress, guys, to be honest. And it's got no adjustable straps on this, but pretty reasonably length. And then it's got the lace detail, but it's all the moon. And star and galaxy and as you can see it's stretchy it's just super soft very comfortable i'm wearing my other night at the minute and i've washed that and it washed well moving on quickly because i don't want to keep you for too long i got another night dress so this was based on the the next two are based on like nightwear guys because i wanted to get some night dresses because i've got lots of pjs and i'm going through the change so I'm, I'm getting very hot and clammy at night and it makes me feel sick so i just thought i'll get some night dresses so i'm not too warm and clammy so i got this purple black one again voila -la. this one is a plus knot front lace trim night dress i got a zero xl should have been 10.49 i paid six pound 80 and that's it guys and it has this little ruche front so it gives you an illusion that you've 
you know, I've got a bit of cleavage there and that just ties in the bow. It's got this white lace. I just hope that that's not too scratchy because I hate scratchy lace. There's a little thread or two there that you'll need to cut out. And then it's just got the hem as well the same. It's like a silver black lace, it's pretty. And it's soft polyester again, it's that really soft one. So that was that order guys. That order came to 39.35. But the last minute I spotted these guys and I went, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yes, yes, and I, I need that. I need them, <laughs> have to have them. So I'm gonna just move on to the next order, which been delivered. These two have just arrived today, guys, and this is why I'm doing it now. So they both arrived today. Um, come on, let's go for the next one. Right, moving straight on. I got a pin badge, another one that I spotted that light, and it's a witch design brooch. Should have been 75p. I paid 63p. Look at me rushing now, guys, because my camera might go off and my light at the same time. And then I end up waiting for ages. I've got a lot of videos to do today. So I seen this witchy one and I thought, oh, I might as well get a couple more. And it finishes my jacket completely. This is the last of the pins now, which is a witch on a broomstick. I think I might have got another pin as well. Yes. So I might have seen something similar to this before elsewhere, but this one looks a lot smaller. So I've got a witch's brew one. Um, I know um, the lovely Lana, she bought some, I think she got them from AliExpress and I, saw, I told her that they did the same ones with a small independent business that I've seen um, but I don't know if they were the same in size. This one is the Witches Brew, uh, 75p, I paid 63p. I know they were selling these for really expensive in one of the Etsy stores, I think it was like 6 quid. I just want some cheap ones to put on my jacket. I've spent enough on my jacket. It's getting really ridiculous the money I've spent on my jacket. Right, moving on quickly. I got some eyelashes. And um, this pair look, I, I'm probably too big for me actually. And it's one pair of volumized eyelashes. I paid 34p, should have been a pound guys. And it says 3D eyelashes. As you know, I'm now wearing eyelashes. I'm still wearing the eye law. I've had these on six times. What I've been doing is slowly peeling off the glue that's dried and just giving them a brush and it brings them up like new again so you can wear them for longer. I love the Eyelore ones, really do. I will buy the Eyelore again. Highly recommend the Eyelore guys, 110% recommend them. The Technic ones that I wore were nice but they don't, they're not that full. They're all right if you don't want anything that looks too unrealistic. So I just bought these one which are my cup of tea. These ones were just one pair of volume eyelashes for 63p, should have been 75p. The band looks pretty alright on them, but it's just when I want to give my eyelash ones a break, so I don't want to wear them all the time. And then I bought a ring because I like the look of this, it might not fit me. I'm, I'm really bad on getting my ring measurements right, guys. In fact, I'm the world's worst at getting ring measurements, but I like it. So this one is a Zircon school decor ring, one size. It wasn't one size, I picked a size and I think it was nine. Oh, I think it fits this finger, which is good because I wanted it for this finger. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. So it's got schools on it. This was £2.50, I paid £2.10. It's got this like black spinel gem, but it's actually Zircon, it says. And it's got schools going around it. Really pretty, I do have a lot of rings that I bought from AliExpress which are like this um, but I don't tend to wear them that much but that is pretty I like that I've actually got my TJC on right moving on my camera's gonna die so this is a colour black fluffy sliders I do own some sliders some white ones I don't know where they are and I can't be bothered going in the loft and looking for them because they're probably up in the loft um, these were £4 oh my god Freaking fluff everywhere. I look like I've mauled a cat. I got flat leggings on. Sick. Freaking fluff everywhere. Right, guys, I'm going to show you quickly and then I'm going to. If these molt, yeah, these are bad. These are shit, guys. I've got to tell you, these are shit. These are really shit. They're all coming apart. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with them. The sliders and they're falling apart. I'm not happy with them. They can go back. I know they're only £3.36, but they are really bad. They are 
Shit, shit, shit. I mean, really shit. I ain't even going to pretend to put them on my feet, guys. They're going back in that bag. So that was them, guys. Sorry, I'm going to say it as it is. I know a lot of you don't like Sheen. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I'll tell you I don't. And they were a joke. I'm full of freaking hers now, guys. I mean, come on. What the hell? Right, moving on, because otherwise I'll go on a ranty page. Um, yeah, one pair of plus rabbit ear shaped nipple covers. Now, people have been wearing these to lift their boobs up so they can wear like dresses that a boob tube or what have you. I'm very top heavy. I don't know if these will work for me, but they were doing them on TikTok and they were more expensive. And I thought, well, I'll just see if, if Sheen do them. And they did. So basically, you peel that off, it sticks on your boob, and you pull it up, and then it lifts them. Don't know if it'll work for me. I'm a 38 double D, just so you know what size I am boobs. I sometimes I'm a 40 double D. I vary if I lose weight. At the minute I'm coming up at 38 double D. Normally I'm a 40 double D and I was a 42 double D but I have lost some weight. So we'll see if these work guys. They were 2 dollars I paid 2 .51. They may not work but we'll see. But I also bought some booby tape because I've seen somebody else doing it and I got the flash, fleshy colour it just looks like big plaster to be honest with you could tape Zach's mouth up when he's being naughty <laughs> so this is a plus boob lifting tape it was 3 dollars I paid 3 dollars and it just looks like big plaster but somebody said it's really good and they just pulled it up and wrapped it so it keeps you a cleavage I'll try it I will tell you if it's good or not I don't know if I'll come on video and show my boobies taped up but yeah <laughs> There you go. Right, quickly, quickly, I got that tattoo again. It lasted five weeks on my legs, that guys, if not six weeks. Absolutely amazing. So I bought it again and then I bought this plain rosy one. Um just just because I like them and these were completely inexpensive as you know, like 67p, 84 and 63p. There you go. Right, last but not least, because them slippers are definitely what they are really bad. I seen the white. They do this in blue as well, guys. So I bought the white because I thought, oh, I like the white. So just the white nightgown. Really, really pretty. And it's got the back design on and it's got the belt. I've washed the nightgown and ironed it. It irons really nice. It washes really well. Happy days. Now this cost Eleven fifty eight should have been nineteen pound, and it's a plus all over back print belted robe. I got a one XL this time, just one a little bit bigger, so comfort. And then, yeah, and then I bought the matching night dress. They do have the shorts like the black that I got, but I didn't want the shorts in it. I just wanted the night dress. That's it. I won't buy this in blue. I just wanted it in white. So I got the night dress as well, guys, because I absolutely love the night dress. Got adjustable straps. The night dress was lace trim back print cami night dress 1XL. Should have been 10 10 99 I paid £9.20. And there you go. I will try them on like I did the others, like I said. And that is it for my sheen, guys. Not a massive one this time, but big enough. Um, them slippers are a piss take. I will have to look for some more slippers. I've actually got some. I just bought black and white to match the slippers, but they are dreadful. And I mean dreadful. I'm going to pick most of the fluff off and stick it back in there. But I'm going to contact Sheen and tell him I want my money back for them. I ain't going to bother sending them back. All right, guys, take care. Stay to the end. I'm going to try these lot on and see what they look like. All right. Uh, that is it. No more Sheen for this year, guys. Hand on my hat. I promise. And if I break it, then you've got the right to have a £10 voucher of any shop. If I break it, there you go. If I don't break it, then that's it. And I mean for this year. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Comment below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs down if you didn't like this video. Share it if you want. Comment down below and I'll always comment you back or heart it. And I'll go and try these on later on. All right, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.
don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel take care guys and i'll see you on my next one bye for now